What's going on, guys? Ryan with Jet Patrol back with another episode, episode 50 of Six Scale News. Let's get started. That's right, guys. We're back with episode 50 of Six Scale News, and uh, I can't believe we're already at 50. Like, but next thing you know, we'll be at 100, and there'll be all kinds of craziness. And you guys have been along for the ride, subscribing, which is amazing. Commenting down, the comment section down below has been great. And occasionally hitting the thumbs up button. Although there's, there seems to be a good five or six people who are subscribed with notifications on, they really like hitting that thumbs down button. So shout out to you for being salty <laughs> so, guys we're going to get to it i have the book we do have some news tonight so let's go ahead and get into it and uh let's see what we got going on here and i do have unboxings and reviews going on for you guys i, I have some recorded already for example alita i've already got alita i have and i actually picked up another figure this past weekend i haven't even opened it and it's i posted on instagram uh, i got the the mandarin not the mandalorian I, I got the mandarin probably the one of the most controversial Iron Man villain was he was he actually a villain? He was just a pawn. He should have been an actual villain, but uh, I think it's a too good of a figure to pass up. And it was a con this past week, uh, our weekend, and I picked him up for 175 bucks. So, and it's brand new. How do you? I mean, so still in a box eventually i'll open that up but i'm in the middle of a remodel and if you're part of the death star i've been giving you guys some, some uh behind the scenes looks if you're part of the the patreon only facebook group but uh we got some good stuff coming for that so stay tuned unboxings coming videos all that kind of stuff but today we have some news which is somewhat pressing i, I feel like it's somewhat pressing it what we're going to talk about towards the end of the video could happen very soon and it could they could delay it after they realize i made a video on it I, I there are let me put it this way um there are people watching let's put it that way so let's go from there so anyways let's get into this guys so let's talk about this uh 40th anniversary vet is uh arriving at sideshow collectibles so if you got your order in with them uh in the states then uh, you probably got an email saying, hey, look, your order is arriving soon. Be prepared to pay for it and shipping and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you got yours through a, another retailer like Collector's Own, maybe a Comic Concepts or some, some other retail like that, uh, just realize that Sideshow has to get their batches first and then those other retailers, your local comic shops come after them and uh, you'll be getting those orders in. So stay tuned uh, for that because uh, that's a great figure. I do think that if you're going to get a FET if you're going to get one, that's the one to get, honestly. Uh, I unboxed it. I did a video on it. You can check it out right here. The amount of accessories are crazy. The switch out parts is crazy. It's just, it, it's a great figure. They keep re-releasing FET, which is amazing. That's nice. This is the deluxe version of the 40th anniversary one we're talking about here. Um, but I think it's definitely worth the pickup. And spoilerific, spoilerific, I have a FET. Let's see here. How am I, how am I going to say this uh, without giving too much away? I have a FET themed collectible coming to the coming to the collection in the next couple weeks. That when I when you see it, you're you're gonna be like, how the hell did you do that? <laughs> so it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of crazy. So I'm pretty stoked for that. Whenever uh, it gets in, so I'm waiting on that to be shipped. And uh, when it gets here, we'll make a video about it. But when you see it, you're gonna be like. Poof! head explosions it's gonna be kind of crazy so a little bit of a tease on that one uh but if you got the 40th anniversary fet it is limited to one per customer at sideshow and has been for quite a while so i'm not sure how big of a batch they're actually going to get uh but uh, there it is it's definitely uh the one to pick up so um let's talk about the next one asthma's toys or Asmus Collectibles, sorry, I wrote toy, it's actually Asmus Collectibles, uh, revealed this week their Legolas from The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. This thing looks, it, it's it's interesting. I want to take a bit, I actually have quite a few slides on this, so I want to take a look at some photos. Uh, when I initially thought of, uh, I saw this uh, photo, I thought, is this Henry Cavill from The Witcher? That was my initial thought from the photo, okay? Now, clearly... It's not because it's Legolas and from the Lord of the Rings, the two towers. But I thought the, the head sculpt was a little, um, 
at least in this particular photo with the lighting and everything going on, whatever lens they use and lens distortion, whatever, uh, I thought it would look kind of like Henry Cavill from The Witcher, which maybe somebody will repurpose this for that purpose. I don't know. Um, but there you go. Uh, this figure the is uh, $290, $289. If you get it from Asmus, it's $290 for the deluxe version. If you get it from Sasha Collectibles, I'm sure some other sites uh, will definitely have this up for pre-order. Uh, these are uh, some of the deluxe items. You get this, this diorama of this wall it's, it's kind of cool so the uh the deluxe version comes with the lamp of helm's deep it comes with part of the urukai i'm probably butchered that name battle ladder and it comes with the dio wall and staircase so this is what the the deluxe pieces come with so uh that's pretty cool that's the deluxe options if you want to get that if you're going to get this i think you got to get the deluxe even if you leave all the deluxe options in the box i think It'd be kind of crazy to not uh, get the deluxe, but you know that's me. That's that's me. Uh, looks like he's got some daggers, and then he's got his uh, his bow and uh, some arrows there, which look. I mean, it looks very detailed. It looks like they did a really good job. Uh, here's a photo of him with the uh, on the on the dial piece, which honestly that's a that's a nice display. Like right there, I think you could copy that pose. Copy that diorama, look, put it in your shelf, and I think it'd look great. I think they did a really good job with that one. Uh, but going back to this. The head sculpt, it, it took me by surprise. So we have a half sculpted, half rooted portrait. Like, I, I don't know the last time I've seen this. I'm, in fact, I really can't think of one. Uh, if you can, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. But a half sculpted, half rooted. So the top half, where the hair is supposed to be all tight and he's got his braids and whatnot, is sculpted. And then the bottom half is rooted, which is, it, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I, it doesn't look bad. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I think the, the tailoring on this looks fantastic. I think the, the sculpt and this angle looks better than the sculpt, the, than the other angle we saw. The hand, from what I can tell, the hands are painted well. The, the Again, the tailoring is great. The paint, I, I think it's a knockout figure. If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, I think it's going to be great. Uh, I do have, for those who are wondering, I do have the Gandalf the Grey uh, coming in. We'll, we'll be reviewing that. I don't know if that's something I'm going to keep. We're going to see when it gets here. And um, I'm just waiting on that to arrive at whenever it shows up. Uh, we will do that. So maybe when I get that and I really like it, I might pick this one up. We might review it. I don't know. Um, it kind of depends on how the Gandalf the Grey goes. If it doesn't go very well, then I probably won't waste my time, energy, or money uh, on this. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic about this one. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we've got some good um, potential in this particular figure. So $290 for the Deluxe. I didn't even bother to look at the price for the regular, but it's probably $20 or $30 cheaper, uh, whatever that is. So there's that. And a newcomer to the game... This was, I just, I had to show this one. If you guys watched the Pink Panther, not the, uh, not the newer version, like with Beyonce, it, not, not that one, the, the older Pink Panther. Uh, you probably have known this character, Peter Sellers, uh, is uh, Jacques Clouseau, and they have, uh, they made some six scale figures of him, and I figured, what the hell, I'll share it with you guys, and somebody might be interested in Somebody might not. I don't know. Uh, I'm not in. I'm not saying this is good or bad or whatever because I don't know what kind of body they're using. I don't know what kind. Of, I I don't, I don't know. Uh, but he don't have to worry about painted hands because they have all gloves. Uh, the portrait looks okay. I don't think there's really. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, it's a little pricey. It's uh, 300 bucks. 300 bucks uh, for this figure. So I thought it was a little pricey. It's available at Sideshow Collectibles and probably some other places too. You know, if it's something you want to... They have this version of the Inspector version. Then they've got the the other uniform version. So you can get either one. Or you can actually get a Deluxe, uh, which I guess comes with... Or maybe the Deluxe comes with both. It, it comes with all this stuff. So they have options. There's one bo one or the other, or you can get both. That kind of works. So the Deluxe version, I believe, are around $380 to get this. And for two, essentially two figures, it's not terrible, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's almost three figures, actually. Uh, so I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I wanted to share with you guys what your thoughts were. It's not something I'm going to be picking up. Uh, I'm not familiar with Infinite Statue Company. I'm not. I don't know anything about them. Uh, but they're offering a six scale figure, and this is six scale news. And I figured I would tell you about it. So there we go. All right. So uh, oh yes, this guy right here. 
The Last Chance Pages Sideshow is finally working again. It's been up and down, and they've been working on it, doing whatever they're doing, but it's back. And um, one of the notable figures on there is the Dusty Deadpool has finally made it to the Last Chance page of that uh, of that site. This is interesting. I have actually reviewed uh, Dusty Deadpool. I'll put a video up or a link up here. I think I did a video on it. Pretty sure I did. Um, it's not as it's not as dark and dusty as it looks in the photo. It's definitely more burgundy. It's not gray. It's not. It's it's really a dirty red. I mean that's that's best way to describe it. Uh, it's definitely not that dark and that gray. Uh, but it is a cool figure. And if you missed out on Deadpool from the the red suit version, the hero version, uh, maybe you want this one. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But there it is. It's on the last chance page. I'll put a links for all this stuff down below uh, to help you out. That way you don't have to go. You know, trying to figure out what the hell I'm talking about. So how's that? All right. So there's that. Dusty Deadpool's in there. And then. And then, boom. Oh, I actually had this one out of whack. I had this slide out of order. But that's okay. We'll talk about this. This was a crazy thing that happened uh, this past week. Pop Culture. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that website. I'll put a link for them down below if you want to. Uh, they actually got something really random in stock this past week. The Iron Man Mark VI. Now, before you go crazy and start looking for it, the Mark VI, they got the Mark VI in stock. It is the non-diecast version. Plastic, okay? So don't go over there going on crazy and buying it and blame me that it's not diecast. I'm telling you up front. It's not diecast. It is plastic. However, if you want a Mark VI and you don't want to pay the crazy diecast prices, uh, this one is $270, and I think you get free shipping to go with it if you want to pick it up at Pop Culture. Uh, it's a good-looking suit. I do want the Mark VI in the collection at some point, but... I'm not going to pick up the plastic one. Uh, personally, it's not it's not for me, uh, but it may be for you, and you may really, really want that armor and not want to pay seven or 800 bucks or whatever Mark VI is going for right now. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, next. Yes. All right, so this thing right here was teased a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago, uh, Sideshow Collectibles. I want to break out of six kill news for a second. You guys know I've been buying statues, so it is what it is. Um, if Hot Toys would actually release some figures, I'd buy less statues. So that's good. But they're not, so it is okay. Uh, but Sideshow Collectibles, uh, years back, released Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. In fact, theirs was from How to Train Your Dragon 2, I think, is when this, the original statue's from. I think there's 400 pieces. And that thing is gone for like, went from like 350 bucks retail to almost a thousand, maybe a little bit more, depending on when in the market you actually were looking at this thing. So they decided to release another version of Toothless. And I like this one quite a bit. Now, I did like the other one. I like the harness and I like the, the tail and I, I like that one. But this one looks good too. And I like the base. I, I like the expression on the on the on the face, and I think the paint apps are going to be great. And it's not going to take up a whole lot of real estate. Like it's only going to it's not going to take up a lot of room. So uh, it's three hundred seventy five dollars. I did pre order this one uh, as soon as it was uh, put up for pre order. So we're definitely going to be getting that one in in the next whenever the they decide to make it. So if you want that one, link down below because the other one is just crazy priced. And this will look pretty good next to the other toothless statue that I got that I showed you guys a few weeks back, which is got a 30 inch wingspan. I, I don't know where I'm gonna put that thing. It's gonna be awesome, but whatever. So we'll worry about that later, uh, but that's pretty cool. And then in the Marvel realm, Sideshow Collectibles and the Kukurek brothers have have come up with Galactus maquette. Now, this is not scaled because we all know Galactus is just freaking out of this world, literally scaled. So there's no way we could have a scaled thing. So this is a maquette. So it doesn't really fall into six scale, quarter scale, whatever. It, fall into scale. it might be one one thousandth scale for Galactus, you know. Um, but this thing right here looks amazing. And depending on the price and depending on the dimensions of it, I may be adding this one to the collection. So we'll see. It hasn't been, this, all we have are some promo photos. That's all we got. Don't have any price, don't have any dimensions, and we don't have any ETA when it's going to be released. But if you have like a Marvel Legends collection, like a proper maquette of Galactus with Silver Surfer going around, I mean, that would just be pretty epic, I think. So, you know, I kind of want it just to say I have it because... 
clearly at some point he has to show up in the MCU. Like he has to, has to show up in the MCU at some point. Uh, not that crazy one from the uh, original Fantastic Four movies. Like the, the, that was, no, 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 not that, not that version. All right, so let's get into that. All right, so uh, this morning, yeah, this morning I made a troll post and uh, I, I posted on there. Uh, this is probably what you guys are here for. I made a post uh, and it had, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I don't have it with me. Anyways, I, I had a, um, I had an image and I had an, a, an emoji, an emoticon, emoji, whatever you call it, an emoji uh, of, a, of a guy. And then I had an image of a DeLorean with actually I had a gif of the DeLorean from um, uh, Back to the Future, right? So you guys were like, oh my God, are they releasing the DeLorean again? And are they doing Back to the Future again? And I've got to be 100% honest with you guys. That was a total troll post. 100% troll post. 100%. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. Because I wasn't talking about the DeLorean. I was talking about the man in the emoji and the DeLorean. So the, the man and the DeLorean. We're going to talk about the Mandalorian. So <laughs> I hope that doesn't get too many people salty at me. And all the Reddit people are going to go, ah, oh, that son of a, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, all those people are like, some of those people put that, um, that gif of a Hawkeye or a Ronin and says, don't. Don't give me hope. I'm sorry. I, I I totally trolled you guys on that one. But we're going to talk about the Mandalorian. And uh, yeah, there's that. So um, it has been. Let's see here. How can I do this without um, without getting too specific? I can't get specific tonight. OK, I, I can't um, for reasons. OK, so I can't for reasons get specific. However, it's been a minute since we've had a Mandalorian announcement. The last one we had was. Um, uh, I'm drawing a freaking Blake in the middle of a freaking video, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. That lady. Bo-Katan. God, man. Why would... <laughs> I literally just watched it. Anyways. Whatever. Troll me down below. Um, Bo-Katan was the last one we, uh, we got announced uh, for uh, The Mandalorian. However, there are... What if... Let me put it to you this way. What if... There were other female characters from The Mandalorian. What if if Hot Toys were to produce another female character, which one should it be? I'll put it let's put it that way. How about that? If Hot Toys is going to produce a Mandalorian female figure, which one should it be? So I've got some photos here, and I thought we'd take a look. And the first one is Cara Dune. Now, I think the odds of us getting a Cara Dune are pretty slim. I think they're pretty slim. I would like to have her. She was part of season one. She was part of season two. I'd like to have her in the collection. I mean, that just, you know, whatever you want to do. I, she's a great character. Um, so are they going to make a Cara Dune? Who's to say? What else we got? I, you know, I think a lot of people would buy her. In fact, I think a lot of people are actually going to get up buying the Sideshow Collectibles Cara Dune statue if Hot Toys eventually does not make a Cara Dune six go figure. Um, so that might be a thing. Uh, then we've got everybody's, I'll say everybody, everybody's favorite character, Ahsoka. So we got Rosario Dawson's version of Ahsoka from The Mandalorian. And is it possible that we get one of those? So I, I got a list here. We can kind of go down this list. So Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian, the Rosario Dawson. Now, I know there are some of you who are holding out on the Clone Wars version of Ahsoka for the Mandalorian version of Ahsoka. I am definitely not waiting. At, well, I've already ordered two of them, so I'm not waiting on anyway. Um, or was it three? I think it's two. Uh, I am definitely not, because that's the Ahsoka that have all the experience with in the Clone Wars. There's no way I was going to pass on, on that figure. And, and I would not recommend anybody pass on that figure in lieu of a Rosario Dawson version. I would not recommend, I would get both, honestly. But I wouldn't pass on her um, because we grew up, we watched, we 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 met, fell in love with, and 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 went through the heartache and everything with the Clone Wars version of, of um, Ahsoka. The Mando version of Ahsoka, as amazing as she is, um, 
you know, not as much attachment there, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. If you just like Rosario Dawson, that's fine too. I get that too. She was amazing in Daredevil, Luke Cage, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, there's that. So Ahsoka is uh, is also a female character in The Mandalorian. Who's to say? The other figure that possibly, I mean, is a female character in The Mandalorian is uh, the Armorer. So, I mean, that would be cool. I know a lot of people, including myself, would really like to have an armorer. And what if, just what if, what if they had like a deluxe version with like all kinds of like a dio base and like some some tools and, and the whole that that would be kind of cool too. I don't know. I don't need we don't need an unmasked portrait. Just the helmet's good because I wouldn't. I hope we don't know what the heck she looks like, anyways. This is the way, and um, that would be cool to have like a uh, almost like the Obi Wan Kenobi Deluxe from Revenge of the Sith, where he's got the hologram um, table. They could do that with, you know, the the little melting, the smelting, and the you know the thing. So um, that would be cool. I don't know. That'd be pretty. I, I think the armor would be. You guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below which one of these you would like to see. Um, Who's to say? I don't know. Uh, so the armorer is a, is a female character from the Mandalorian that definitely deserves a six scale figure, and uh, I think a lot of people would purchase that figure. So I think that would be cool. What else? Fennec Shand. Yes, hundred percent. Fennec Shand. Clearly, we know she's going to be involved in the Book of Fett. That's going to be a thing. So. 100% possibility we get a Fennec Shand. I think that would be amazing. I hope it would have rooted hair. Not, I'm uh, not rooted hair. <laughs> sculpted hair, not rooted hair. Oh my God. Almost no rooted hair, hot toys. Sculpted hair. Sculpted hair. Uh, Fennec Shan would be amazing. I, would, I, I think the tailoring on that figure would be amazing. And I think it would look fantastic on the shelf. And since we're, oh, we already know we're getting a FET, or getting a, basically a two pack of FET. Uh, and you know they're going to make more FET figures. You know, that's going to happen. So um, that would be pretty cool to get Fennec. And last but not re least, I almost said last but not Reeves. Costco Reeves. We got, uh, yeah, uh, we got Costco Reeves. So I, I think that would be pretty amazing to see her as well because we're getting a Death Watch Mandalorian. We're getting Bo Katan, who I have not forgot about ever, ever, ever. Sorry. And uh, we're gonna, we could possibly get a Costco Reeves. I, I, I think all these characters are po uh, possibilities. Um, I'm not sure which other female characters from The Mandalorian that. I personally would like a six scale figure of, but I would pretty much just buy whatever they release anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but um, we'll see. We shall see what they do. I don't know. Uh, but what if? That's that's what I got. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that because I can't be any more specific than that at this time. <laughs> so that's all I, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to close the book. Uh, I'm going to close the book. And uh, I'm going to wish you guys, I hope you have a great week. Um, we got videos coming for you very soon. Alita will be re reviewed and released very soon, as soon as I finish up a couple things with that video. And uh, and it may, I don't, if you guys would like to see a video on this, then I, I'll possibly do one. I kind of just bought it for the collection. I didn't really buy it to review. Um, and I don't know that anybody would even watch it. But if you would like to see if there's enough people in there, well, maybe we'll do a video on that. Uh, but as always, guys, click what you like. And uh, we'll see you next time.